Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about the Marc Jacobs Uptown bag. And I am super happy that I was able to finally put my hands on this baby because it is a bag that I wanted for a very long time. So a little backstory about this bag is it took me all the way to Florida to find this bag because it was sold out online everywhere. I went to Aventura Mall. I saw it there and I fell in love and I was like, you know what? I have to get this bag because it was sold out when I went online and now here it is in a new color which I absolutely love and I couldn't waste any time. So I definitely got it and treated myself to it for Christmas. So let's get right into it. But also before I go, let's just say I will also be showing you how I'll be styling and profiling with my new Uptown bag. Stay tuned. So this is the Marc Jacobs Uptown bag. Oh my, isn't she beautiful? All right, so let's get into the details about this bag, but let me just show you a little up close and personal so you can see how much and how beautiful she is. Okay, so what I love most about this bag is of course the quality of it. Who doesn't love something that's of good quality? Of course, if you're gonna be spending a good amount of money on it, you definitely want to ensure that the leather is good, the detailings are good, and even the stitching. I am a person that I am super keen when it comes to stitching, okay? So Marc Jacobs never fails me. So what I do love is that this short um, handle here, and I do love that it has a removable strap with these gold ring detailings, which really adds a lot of flavor and beauty to the bag. And as you can see here, it does have this removable scarf, which has a beautiful detailing, which you can also wear as a headband. So, or even making a scarf around your neck, however you decide to wear it, but it's really cute. Then I see, as you can see, it does have this turn lock flap here, which I love. And then the beautiful red detailing there. And inside has three compartments. So one in the front, one in the back. And it does have this middle pocket chip here, which is a plus. And although the bag isn't wide, it is fairly deep, which you can store a good amount of things in it. But it is pretty heavy, so you don't want to fill it with too many things. All right. I'm going to turn that. And you all know that your girl loves a magnetic pocket in a bag or flap. It is a plus for me. So I love that it has this magnetic pocket in the front, which is super um, great for just easy access. So I usually put my keys or just like cards or whatever. I just want to go in and out. Of course, you want to be careful if it's very important cards that you want to put it in the inside pocket. But I love this here. So just those things that you want to have easy access to is quite accessible. Then in the back, we do have this pocket here, which I won't really store too much, but what I'll use this pocket for is if I was going to an event, I'll put business cards back here. So I think this is nice little cute detailing, but wouldn't really want to use because I feel I'm super afraid of like just losing things. So yeah, this is the Marc Jacobs Uptown bag and the gold detailing is everything just the overall quality and make of the bag is super nice so yes do you like her? do you love her or do you hate her but i must tell you that i love her <laughs> so let's get into how i'll be styling and profiling in my mark jacobs uptown bag let's get it so here I have this beautiful dress that I got by Dave from Zendaya when she had her clothing line. And I absolutely love the frills. And I decided to wear it with this beautiful Rebecca Mink off leather jacket and the Zara boots. And I think the monochrome look is everything. So this dress is so beautiful. And look, as you can see, it has the slip underneath. Oh, it just looks like everything with this bag. And I feel like this is the perfect brunch with your girls fit or a date night with the boo yes yes honey this next look is this beautiful multicolored knit crop top and i decided to pair it with these flared high-waisted denim jeans and i did also wear um, pair these with my 
Booties, which is um by Stuart Wiseman. Oops, no, it's not Stuart Wiseman. I'm so sorry. I think these are my Mark Fisher white booties. Sorry. Um, yeah, and I think this is just like, you know, the perfect fit for running errands or, you know, going for lunch, whatever it may be. I think it's just a perfect city, um, day in the city outfit. And I love how these jeans make my booty look. I'll be sure to provide the um, link to where I purchased these um, flare denims. The crop top was from my store. Um, but yeah, I think this look is cute. What you think? What you think? Yes. <laughs> All right. So this next look, I feel like this is the perfect fit for a dinner date, um, going to an event. And this dress is from one of my favorite brands, Line and Dot. I love their slip dresses. And I decided to wear it as well with this beautiful blazer that I got from BCBG. Had this blazer for quite a while. I did decide to do something different and wear it off the shoulder. So as you can see, the kinched in the back. Um, but I do love the champagne amongst the ivory. It definitely pops and complements the bag. So champagne and burgundy looks really good together. So I think this is the perfect fit. And look at the construction of this blazer. It's everything. I had it for a very long time. Um, but I'll be sure to provide some links on where you can find some similar pieces. And, oh, these are my Kendall and Kylie um, boots. Yeah, I'll provide everything for you guys. All right, so this next look is, I love how this look with the um, dress. So I did decide to put the strap back onto the bag as well as the scarf. I felt like it really made the dress and the whole entire look more pronounced and you definitely want to add some pop especially because since i'm wearing just black and white a little bit more color and detailing can really do the look and of course this wrap dress is from no other no better than diane von fitzenberg i love her wrap dresses they are very good quality and of course she's iconic so definitely an investment piece um but i definitely love how this bag looks amongst the black and white especially with the scarf and the good thing is I didn't get to show it in this video, but the strap from the bag also looks really good as a belt. I'll show that in another video, but I think you will like it, even if you want to put it over a dress or whatever it is. But yes, I'm so obsessed with this Uptown bag. My mom saw it yesterday and she was like, I want it. I'm like, okay, mom, you can get aware. I won't mind. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope that you guys liked everything, so please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy!